Welcome to Northeast Media Hub, the fastest growing digital media platform. I am Adalbert Khar with the latest Hub news. Be informed, be alert. Three persons who were planning to form an extortion gang in various parts of Garo Hills were arrested with arms on Thursday for their alleged involvement in murdering a woman in Jadigitim area of South Garo Hills district. They have been identified as David Armarak, alias Bitbit of Kacharipara, Golpara Assam, Deman Armarak and Sainara Armarak of Bajengdua, North Garo Hills Police said. During the investigation, two small arms, a pistol and a gun, and two dao and knife were recovered from the possession of the accused, which were used to commit the crime, they said. Police said the arrested persons were planning to form an extortion gang in various parts of Garo Hills. It may be mentioned here that a special investigation team, or SIT, was constituted to assist the I.O. of the case for an effective investigation into recovery of a female dead body at Jadigitim area on June 30. Another action-packed Saturday awaits in the Meghalaya Youth League 2024, with 15 matches spread around the state in the under-14 and under-16 boys categories. Nongstoin District Sports Association, Riboy District Sports Association and Pindeng Omyong District Sports Association have all won all their matches in the under-14 category. While Nongstoin and Riboy are also on a two-game winning streak in the under-16 category and they will be aiming to keep that momentum going, while the opponents will hope to stop them in their tracks. The inter-school basketball tournament concluded on a high at the Christian Girls Higher Secondary School's basketball court in Tura on Friday with the DBS Boys and DBC HSS Girls Crown Champions. Organised by the District Basketball Association or DBA, under the aegis of the Meghalaya Basketball Association Shillong, and in collaboration with the District Sports Office Tura, the event drew significant enthusiasm from players and spectators alike. Commencing on July 29, the tournament was played on a knockout basis with teams vying for the coveted trophy. A total of 11 teams participated, including 7 boys team and 4 girls team, showcasing their skills and sportsmanship on the court. In the girls' category, the final match saw Don Bosco College Higher Secondary Section Tura, DBCHSS, face off against Don Bosco School Tura, DBS. The DBCHSS girls team secured a decisive victory with a score of 44 to 14, earning the winning trophy. In a major development, Mizoram Chief Minister Laldu Homa has requested Union Home Minister Amit Shah to initiate dialogue between the Ministry of Home Affairs and leaders of the Kuki Zo people in Manipur's hill areas. On Thursday, Mizoram Chief Minister Laldu Homa met Union Home Minister Amit Shah at his residence. During the meeting, Laldu Homa requested the Union Home Minister to arrange a meeting with the Indigenous Tribal Leaders Forum, which represents all tribal communities in Manipur. Laldu Homa also informed Shah that he was invited by his Manipur counterpart N. Birin Singh to visit Imphal and express his willingness to accept the invitation. CM also expressed gratitude to the Union Home Minister for sanctioning Rs 10 crore for the displaced people. The hosting of the first Durant Cup match in Shillong was a watershed moment in the state's sporting history and Meghalaya has ambitious plans to upscale its sporting landscape. Meghalaya Chief Minister Conrad K. Sangma on Friday announced the state will soon launch the Mission Football 2.0, a revamp and updated scheme to implement new ways to promote football in the state and develop the culture of football in the state. This is based on the success of Mission Football, which has transformed the soccer landscape in the state. As an extension of the scheme, the CM also announced a local football club support scheme where elite clubs participating in I-League 2 and above can apply for grants up to Rs 3 crores and grassroots or intermediate clubs of the state can apply for grants up to Rs 15 lakhs. With Mission Football 2.0, the government intends to improve upon the infrastructure for more football. It was also highlighted that the government, in collaboration with North East United Football Club, NEUFC, will soon have a one-of-its-kind residential academy at Mauk Hanu in New Shillong Township. Making Nagaland the first state in the country to implement the disaster management insurance, the state government and SBI General Insurance have signed a Memorandum of Understanding, or MOU, for Disaster Risk Transfer Parametric Insurance Solution, or DRTPS. A parametric multi-year risk transfer solution, it will aid in protecting the state's critical infra and reduce economic losses due to disaster. The memorandum was signed on Friday at the Chief Minister's office in Kohima. Nagaland Chief Minister Nefio Rio announced that the new insurance partnership was aimed at safeguarding the state against natural calamities. He said agreement signed between SBI, General Insurance and Nagaland State Disaster Management Authority, NSDMA, ensures comprehensive coverage for the entire state. 
Thank you for listening to Hub Podcast. For latest news and updates, follow us on www.hubnetwork.in. Download Hub News app in your mobile from Google Play Store and Apple App Store. For promotion and publicity, write to us at info at hubnetwork.in. Thank you. Kublai Shibon, Mithela. Thank you.